Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, I would like to show you how to apply the conditional formatting in Excel. So for that, I have taken some marks of a student and we'll calculate the percentage and we'll see how we can apply the conditional formatting. So we know that the formatting, formatting means applying different styles for the data. So different styles means we can apply the bold, italic, underline or uh, fill color or font color so we can change all these things font style font size all these things we can apply and this is called formatting so we can format the cells based upon the condition so we need to give the condition and based upon that condition that cell uh, look will be changed right so in this session we'll see how can we apply this conditional formatting so first we uh, i have taken some uh, student marks i will calculate the percentage and we'll see percentage so just follow the percentage so some off uh, i have to calculate from here to here and in 200 uh, divided by let, let us take 100 for each subject maximum marks that is a 500 so 82.6 is the percentage for the num roll number 101 and you can observe here this is the percentage we got okay we got the percentage for all the students all right so I, i'll give the border for all the things and then we'll apply the c so how can we know the top five members of this list so the our we are having some one uh, 20 students and among these 20 students who got the uh, top five who secured the top five in the 20 among the 20 and last five among the 20 and like this so based upon the condition we need to uh, look the uh, cells right so for this you just go with the home and in that home you will find the conditional formatting conditional formatting so first to select the cells and go to the conditional formatting so you can see the first first option so these many ways we can apply the conditional formatting so first one highlight cell rules so he, he, if you go with the highlight cell rules you will find a lot of conditions greater than less than between equal to text that contains a date occurring duplicate values and all these things so if i want to if i if i click on greater than so you can observe here format cells that are greater than so here we need to give the percentage so the value and here we'll get the formatting text so what type of formatting we need to represent right so i will give the cells which are greater than 75 percent 75 percent i need to represent those cells which are greater than 75 with yellow fill with dark yellow text green fill with dark green text i have to select one among these things right i will go with the uh, yellow fill with the dark yellow text you can observe here now okay click on okay so among these things so some cells have been highlighted highlighted right so these cells are nothing but which are greater than 75 the percentage is greater than 75 you can observe here all these cells are having the value greater than 75 right so like this we can apply the conditional formatting so we can apply the formatting based upon the condition or you can also go with less than so I need to get the data which are having a less than 60 uh, with uh, green fill with dark green text. So you can observe here. So this yellow fill is nothing but greater than 75 and a green fill is nothing but less than 60. Less than 60. Okay. And similarly, I will clear all these things. So here itself you will having the clear rules entire sheet. Okay. So again, I will go with this one and you can observe here highlight equal to so i just want to get the data with a percentage 60 so red light red fill go with the apply so i am not having the data okay so equal to some we'll take 60 okay we'll take some 60 so you can observe here 60 is already highlighted with a red light uh, uh, red fill with a dark red text if you go with the yellow or if you go with the green so automatically the text has been changed right the formatting has been done it's red text so you can observe 
the, all the text color is black and only this one is a red that means based upon the condition we have given so that will be applied so i will i will clear the rules and now again you can observe the here you need you can give the formula right so in between between you have to give the lower value and the upper value i just want to give some 75 uh, to 85 so with uh, the red border or red text okay so click on here so that we will get the red text which are nothing but the values in between 75 and 85 okay so like this we can apply the condition and based upon the condition we can apply the rule right so you can observe here second one is a top or bottom rules here you need not write any formula if you click on this one top 10 items among these 20 top 20 will be selected see so top 20 sorry top 10 among these 20 top 10 will be highlighted right so with a given uh, with a given uh, condition so green field with green text so these are the top top 10 among the 20 top 10 so we need not write any formula for this okay and similarly we can also select this one and top 10 percent among this one top 10 percent top 10 percent are only two because 20 so in this 20 students top 10 percent is nothing but two students so two students we can select or we can also uh, select the bottom 10 list bottom 10 okay the first top 10 this is the bottom 10 so these are the bottom 10 and similarly we can go with the bottom 10 percent bottom 10 percent means last two values okay last last rank as well as last but one rank okay if you consider it as a ranks last rank and last but one rank so these are the last and last but one ranks okay and also you can also go with the average and above average so you can find the average now right so let's see I will write uh, average of so you can find out the average within these cells so the average is 72.42 so we can apply the cells with above average and below average you can find it here right see above average so only above 72.42 will be selected and you can apply the formatting text so how, how you want to represent that cell okay and similarly we can also go with below average so the values below 72.42 because the average of all these values is 72.42 so below average values are these things these cells okay so hope you understood this one and also you can represent the percentage in terms of bars so you can observe data bars so you can observe based upon the value if the complete cell represents the 100 based upon the value the data will be the the data bar will be appeared so if you observe here so 82.6 there is a long bar and 60.6 it is a somewhat less and 42.6 it is very less it's around less than 50 percent right so like this we can represent the data in terms of bars also okay i, I, I will drag it so that you will be understood clearly okay so in in this way we can also represent using bars we can select the color colors different colors we can represent that in the different colors okay solid fill okay gradient fill okay solid fill means every uh, complete bar will be filled with a solid color and gradient fill will means somewhat uh, darkness to brightness okay some sort of uh, uh, gradient filter will be applied so gradient will be applied here you can observe here so at the starting point there will be a very dark uh, color will be appeared and move, moving on automatically it will be go to the lighter so that's called a gradient field so we can represent the cells by using the gradient field as well as the solid field and also color scales so you can represent with the color scales different color scales okay and icon sets see i will i will clear this one and i will show you the icon sets entire sheet so you can observe here the icon sets based upon the arrows okay based upon the average value the three colors will be given so above average it will be green color some uh, uh, near to the average it will be some uh, i mean on an average it will be become some uh, side arrow and down arrow okay and similarly we can represent by using triangles arrow marks shapes and you can find the ratings okay yeah. see four star ratings and five star ratings the circle fills okay you can observe here the maximum value is 84 
uh, sorry, 85.4 is the maximum. We'll check. So maximum value is 86.8. So here 86.8. So based upon this value, this circle will be represented. Okay. And similarly, we can go with the icon set. So these are the different ways we can represent the cells based upon the condition. Okay. And we can also apply the new rule. You can you can see the new rule here. So there are different rule types. Format all cells uh, cells based on their values. So format style we can give the format style minimum value and maximum value the color to be displayed. And format only cells that contain. Automatically you can apply here. See. So we'll be getting the format only cells with value in between this start value and the stop value. And here you need to apply the format. So whatever the format you need to apply on the cell, you have to select this one and format only top and bottom ranked values. So all these things we have seen there. So if you want to get uh, other than 10%, uh, we got around 10%, uh, right? In the conditional formatting, we have seen here the, the top 10%. So if you want to change that, automatically you can go that new rule. So see percentage of selected range you can select uh, top 5% top 10% top 6% so like that you can go with and format only unique or duplicate values so you can select only duplicate values you can apply the um, format for only the duplicate values see duplicate values so I, I, I just want to apply the bold italic okay and fill with uh, some this color okay so I think there is no uh, duplicates, right? There is no duplicates, I think. So that's why we got, uh, we, we didn't get any formatting text, right? Just a wait. Uh, I will give uh, some same value here. I will select, uh, we'll select this one and we'll check whether it is applied or not the new rule and I will go with the duplicate values select this one so I will I just want to fill the color with this one and font bold and italic okay right okay so you can observe these are the duplicate values we have we are adding two values duplicate so these are the duplicate values so we can simply select these type of things and also there is a, a user formula to determine which cells to be format here we need to write the formula so based upon the that particular formula with the, the particular cells the result of the cells will be get formatted and you can select the format which you how you want to format that particular cell that means represent that cell right so this is all about our uh, conditional formatting so based upon the condition we can represent the cells right formatting means representation of a cell look and feel of the cell Right. So hope you understood this one. If you are having any doubts regarding this, uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts and uh, hope you enjoyed the session. If you really like my session, uh, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching. Thank you very much.